How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. I hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you might be. So today we are going to talk about Orb Legends. That's right, legends that use the orb weapon in Brawlhalla. As of right now, there are only five legends that use the orb in Brawlhalla. Do you know which ones they are? We have Dusk, Fate, Thor, Petra, and Reno. Those are the only legends that use orb right now in Brawlhalla. And I want to go over which legends I think are the best with orb and which are the worst. So let's just do a top three orb legends and let's start with number three i'm gonna put number three as dusk and that might surprise some of you but you'll understand later in the video and i want to play a game with each of the top three legends so let's go dusk and i think i will use i guess i'll use starlight colors i don't think i've ever used them on dusk uh we're gonna go strength stance i think it's the best stance for dusk gives him a lot of force now, the reason I put Dusk at number three, which is going to be the lowest, uh, is because I just, personal opinion, I don't really like Dusk's uh, signatures. Nothing against the weapon, the spear, and the orb. Obviously, I like the spear. One of my favorite legends is Brynn, and Brynn uses spear. In fact, I would say spear is one of the first legends that I ever really learned in Brahalla. The reason I put Dusk as number three is, like I said, the signatures. Um... They, I just don't do very well with them. Okay, look at this. We're going against another orb legend with Thor. So I think Thor is better, but we're going to get to that a little bit later. Ooh, he, he has honor. He's letting us get a weapon. Let's go. Now, the only reason I'm playing is just to show you guys a little bit of gameplay with the legend. Not trying to say like I'm a really good player with all these legends, um, but we're, we're still going to try to win if we can. I love that down sig. I mean, it's kind of a goofy move, and I feel like Dusk is kind of a goofy legend. Like, he has decent spear sigs. The ones I don't really love are his orb, but that's just me. I'm not saying you can't be really good with Dusk because you can be really good with Dusk, but you have to be able to use these weird signatures. Like, that one I always miss for some reason, the down sig. There you go. That's how you're supposed to use it. My favorite sig on Dusk is the orb side sig, which I was trying to pick my orb back up, but we didn't get a chance there. All right, here's the orb side sig. Boom. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's kind of bopping us here. I would love to hit it. But for some reason, I just can't, even though it's like not even a hard move. Boom, there it is. He's probably mad because I'm sig spamming, but honestly, I just wanted to show you guys that move. The neutral sig, I really don't ever hardly use, but nice. Okay, I don't see what I mean. Like the signatures are hit, hit or miss, like. He's right on top of me. I still can't hit with the down sig. That's okay. With Dusk, I'm almost better off just literally using light attacks. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. 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 Alright. We might three stock with Dusk, which is probably better than I was expecting because... Yep. Okay. No three stock, not even close really. I Like I said, Dusk is not my favorite, but honestly, even though he's, in my opinion, the worst orb legend, he's still an orb legend and orb is a very good weapon. So it's not like he's one of the worst legends in Brahalla. This guy is pretty good with his orb on Thor. I see that. All right, we, we're gonna finish off this Thor. Any minute now. <laughs> Yep, 
If you can hit the neutral sig, it's very satisfying. I'll say that much. All right, well, GG, dude. That was Dusk, my number three in the top three orb legends. Now, for number two, this might surprise some of you, but I'm going to go to Strikeout because for number two, I have Tide. Tied for number two, I have Petra, Thor, and Reno. I couldn't decide which of those three is better than the other because honestly, I feel like Reno is super good. Super good SIGs. Underplayed, but still super good. Petra is overplayed in my opinion, but for good reason. Super good legend. This is a Garnet crossover for Petra. She also has uh, Ryu from Street Fighter, but... And then Thor, kind of underplayed a little bit, maybe not, um, but equally as good because of the hammer and because of his signatures. The orb signatures are kind of trash except for the neutral sig, but the hammer sigs, I think all three of them are very, are very good in different situations. And you could probably guess who my number one orb legend is at this point because we've already talked about the top Four, and there's only one other orb legend we haven't used but if you can't figure it out or you forgot you're gonna have to wait till after this match we'll play one match with the top orb legend legend after this and these are just my opinions so Reno Thor and Petra I think they're all three equally very good legends the uh, sigs on Reno are awesome like look at that I could spam SIGs all day on Reno because it's so fun. And people do probably spam SIGs on Reno because it is fun. He has really good SIGs and they're fun to use. Not very fun to get hit by, but that's not my problem, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh man. So ultimately, it really depends which uh, side weapon you like to use, like complementing the orb, because if you like blasters, Reno's a great legend. If you like hammer, just use Thor, etc. I just don't like Dusk that much. That's literally the only one. Uh-oh, did it? Wow. I actually survived that. Wasn't really expecting to survive it, but we did. All right, I'm going to KO myself so we can use a different legend other than Reno because I actually w do want to show you guys. Oh. Okay. I, I wanted to show you guys Petra and uh, Thor, but yeah, I don't know. I guess we can. All right, we'll do one more. This time I'll start it out with Petra and then we'll go to Thor because I, I do want to show you these three and then we'll do uh, Reno last. And for the colors this time, let's do Charge Doji. All right, this time we're gonna give some spotlight to Petra and Thor because I didn't even really get to use them at all in the last fight. You saw how good Reno is. Um, the Reno Blasters and Orb combo is super good, but I tie Reno with Petra and Thor because they're equally as good, in my opinion. All right, we're gonna let Neat Nymox get a weapon there. Petra. If you like gauntlets and orb, I mean, gauntlets and orb are two close range weapons. They, if you like to be right up on other people like this, this is your legend. Um, might be weak against certain long range attacks, but that's where I have these uh, quick signatures that can go far distances, you know what I mean? Bye bye. My ground pound is a little bit better than his because with gauntlets you can steer it. You know what I mean? As soon as I saw the steerable ground pound on gauntlets when gauntlets were first like released, I knew it was like OP. All right, um, this guy's probably gonna. Oh, all right. I was gonna say he's probably gonna take care of Petra, but since he did that, I'll just give a homie stock anyways because I wanna I wanna show Thor. So, all right, it's it's cool, dude. Don't worry about it. We're just having fun, playing some Brahalla. Accidental uh, own KOs are part of the game here. Thor, I mean, like I said, his his orb sigs are not why I like 
uh, Thor, it says Hammer Six actually, which is ironic because these are, you know, top orb legends. But yet yeah, Thor's hammer is better than his orb in my opinion. All right, let's use the hammer just to show you. Don't, don't, okay. So you have the neutral sig, which is super good. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my gosh. I tried to do recovery and actually died. Oh well. Well, his neutral sig is really good. The down sig is super good. Uh, probably the most OP of all of his signatures is the down sig on Thor hammer. And then Thor hammer uh, side sig is also just really good. So, all right, well, that's good enough. Now, last but not least, guys, actually it's literally the best orb legend in the game in my opinion is fate fate has scythe and orb it's a perfect complement of weapons the orb is a nice up close combo heavy weapon and the scythe is a medium to long range string weapon and they just go super well together fate has really good signatures for the most part um you can hold some of them she has active input signatures uh, she's got a wide variety of moves, basically, and if you know how to use them all in the right situations, she can be one of the best legends in Brawlhalla, not just the best orb legend. I think she's one of the best legends in the game. Now, that being said, you're not going to get like three stocks left and right just because you're using Fate. Just because... I say a legend is super good doesn't mean you're automatically good with that legend. I just think the potential is there. If you are to master the legend, like I said, and learn what to do, when to do, and you just have a good game sense, there's a lot of potential here to be really great with Fate. Her signatures are very, very good, like I said. Against a slow le weapon like the uh, Great Sword, we should be feasting. All right, we got him there. He was kind of staying on the wall a lot, but that's why I'm saying the scythe is super versatile. The orb is super good too. Fate's actually one of my favorite legends. I like her character design. He's floating above me a lot, so I'm just gonna start spamming neutral sig if I have to. Alright, that's probably a stock. Yep. Alright, I've been using uh, the orb a lot, so let's use the scythe. Scythe is actually one of my favorite weapons. I don't use the down sig too much on fate. But it can surprise people and hit them like when they don't expect it like that. Oh, that's game. All right. Well, we got three stock with fate. So <laughs> I guess that is a nice little exclamation point on why she's the best orb legend. But nah, like I said, just because you play her doesn't mean you're going to be great with her. She's kind of a hard legend to get good with, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you agree with my list on the top orb legends. So just to go back and review it at number three, I have Dusk at number two. I have Tide, Thor, Petra and Reno for number two and number one. I have fate. That's uh, that's about how I rate the orb legends. All right, guys, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, friends.